black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hi, may I take your order, please? Yeah, can I get the uh, traditional Greek gyro meal? Sure, Yes, please. Right. Cherry Coke, if you got it. Okay. Also, can I get another gyro, just the sandwich, but uh, with turkey? Sorry, you said turkey? Yes, please. Okay, anything else for you today? That'll be it. Okay, that'll be 1737. Thank you. You're welcome. What up with y'all? I'm just booting a boot, doing some errands in this minus 40 Canadian dad outfit. Got my trapper hat, got my workman's comp here. A little <laughs> vest cut off situation. Very cozy, got it from Giant Tiger. It was cheap and it's very, very effective in fighting the frigid frozen frost that I exist in right now. My window has been frozen shut for four days. It just opened up for this drive-through experience, which is impromptu, wasn't planned, but I was over on this side of town, saw the Arby's, couldn't deny the Arby's, had a little hankering for something uh, Greek style. So you guys heard what I got and uh, I, I can't wait to get into this and just have a little Chattanooga with you today about something that's been, you know, it's it, it's weighing heavy on my heart in a good way. And I really want to just express my, you know, my, my true deep gratitude for all y'all and everybody involved and all the things. So uh, once I get this food here, I'll talk to you. All right, y'all, sack procured, cherry Coke procured. Last time we went on this adventure, we were missing a cherry Coke. It was left at the window and it was sad, but we got our food, got to get our OJ driving hitters off and get into this grub ski and tell you guys how I'm really feeling, okay? Ooh wee, this is smelling so good and I'm terribly excited for it. Always the best service at Arby's too. The uh, drive through people there are just usually super nice. How do you like my dad gear? It's pretty sick, right? Just gotta get these honey musties open. Okay, first things first, hot and curly, curly fries, the best. Let's get one in the mouth. Got myself a beautiful honey mustard here for the dip. Oh, gotta get my sister's dog hair off me. Was just visiting her. I would give it two guns if I didn't have a dip in my ham. Oh my word. That is very delicious. Honey mustard on the curlies. Cause the curlies got a little, little spice to them. Mmm. Wow. The crunch and the soft center. Oh man, that's so good. That's where it's at. Big time where it's at. I also got some ranches. To test out. But yo, I'm living for these curlies right now. These are giving me major life energy. So this is a ranch. Mm. This is a creamy ranch. Mm-hmm. I think I like the honey mustard just a bit better though. But it's still all good. Mmm, cherry coke. Wet your beef with that. Too fresh. Too fresh. Okay, so we got the gyros. I got the traditional Greek meat. I made the mistake last time I was here. I got a gyro, but I got the, the beef. Wasn't the ticket, wasn't the move. This looks, I think it's gonna be per amaze. What y'all think? I mean, you look pretty good or what? Baby bonnet, so it don't come out the back. But let's get a big old bite ski. Yes. 
I was so it. It's exactly what I was craving for. Man. Yes. <laughs> when your crave works out and it hits. That's special. And speaking of special. Subscriber sponsored specials. That's what's weighing on my heart heavy in the best way. Y'all are special and it feels special. And I like making them special for you. And here's why. First of all, it's fun. Very fun, very enjoyable. I've been able to connect with a bunch of you even more deeply now, a lot more personally, which is very satisfying. It forces me to get more creative in the kitchen, get cooking, and makes my channel more interesting. Very motivating. And just overall very enjoyable. Also, it's been overwhelmingly Study across the board that, you know, in my description of what's required to get a personalized custom video and a shout out and get the food that you want made, you know, I just asked to cover the food cost. That's it. You know, and without fail, everybody, mostly everybody gives you a little extra something something a tip and words of encouragement and just like thank you and keep doing what you're doing keep going and uh the financial little freedom that ha like, it's just freed up a little more money for me to start reinvesting into things and you know doing this a little more comfortably now because like those videos fuel the channel in a way that before it just wasn't it was just you know i'm coming out of pocket for everything and so it's just amazing to see how that can change the uh change the game here a little bit for me change the dynamic make it so i can i can see a bit a better future for, for the channel and I can actually keep going just a little more comfortably. Because my channel isn't huge. I don't get massive views. I'm not rolling in money. And so that makes a huge difference. And it's like super, just, I'm so grateful. And I like making those videos for you guys. I was like, I just remember back in the, back in a time where I was like, I had like a thousand subscribers, and I was like, I'll never have two thousand subscribers. And then, my videos were getting like five hundred views. Like, and then I don't know, a couple of years later, it's just like sixty three, four thousand people isn't anything to just shake a stick at. Like, that's a pretty crazy achievement in, in a sense relative to the youtube standards of who's popping and what's gonna make you like rich or whatever and like be cooler than somebody like yeah my numbers are small but i went from like not even making any money to like having a small business a loyal people who really just are here to, to like see me succeed in this thing that i love to do while i try to provide some sort of give and take value exchange in this custom video format and yeah it's just like i could have i never i could have never pieced that together back then like that was just never in my thoughts and like just to have manifested into this position of where i'm at is like 
it's because of me because <clears throat> I made the content, put the content out, but without you, I, <clears throat> I can't do it, right? Without you not watching the video or coming through or being down for me as a person in my channel, like without you guys showing up, I don't exist. So it's like the love is felt, you know what I mean? And I hope it's reciprocal and, and it's not hope, it is. I got loyal commenters, loyal viewers. And it's just shown through so much in how many subscriber sponsor requests just are flying in. And like I said, like almost every time there's always ge further generosity. There's always like a tip and there's always words of like encouragement, like kindness. I'm getting flustered here. But that is so dope to me. I love that. And to all the people, if you're watching this, that I've connected with, like, through the subscriber sponsor request, I'm only one dude. I get so many messages and stuff. I know, like, I'll, I'll have chats, like, fall flat with people who are talking to me on Instagram and stuff. It's just, I only have, I can only create, live my life, manage my family, talk to so many people at once. Like, so, you know, I, I try my best to stretch myself as thin as I can relative to keeping up with chatting and stuff. But, you know, I got stuff I got to get done too, but it's just exciting to have like this little, uh, further opportunity to do this a little more comfortably. And be able to start I'm brainstorming about next things new things I have an idea for a new channel um, starting a new channel is while you're trying to run a channel and just be like just survive from it starting another channel is like very uh, it's a very it's kind of like a risky time endeavor because you can't just make money instantly on YouTube you have to have a thousand subscribers, which I could probably get you guys to go over there and get that up. That's fine. But if I started this new channel, in order to make any money with it, you have to have 44,000 hours of watch time. And that is, or 4,400, I should say, not 44. Yeah, 4,400 hours of watch time until you're actually eligible to be monetized. And like, you guys have no idea how long that really takes to get there you might not even get there if your channel doesn't take off so it's like you know it's like as much as i'd love to start a new one and and, and really go for it and do some other shit with some other stuff it's like it's very it's like a risk and it could distract me from this channel and i always battle with that but like you know if you're a little more financially sound and you don't have to worry so much about the your main source of income then you you can kind of take other risks and expand and things like that so you know it's just i've i've got plots and plots and schemes for other things and just like the uh the subscriber request i think is is really helping with making those other things a potential possibility you know <clears throat> doing a lot of talking a lot of rambling but that's just what was on like my, my, my soul today. I wanted to share it with you. Cause we got our little, little family community here where we try to not be involved in the drama, the mess, the problems. Let's try to create a space where it can just be a good time, <laughs> not like have to be toxic, judgmental, anything like that. Just people trying to enjoy 
whatever this is, you know? The cooking, maybe learning stuff, enjoying a funny story. Just, uh, just appreciating food and the beauty and the art that is food. That's why I love food. It's beauty, it's art. It's enjoyable as shit. But mostly what food is. Not mostly, but a lot of it. Is it's like it's connection, it's community. When you go to a family your family's house, what are you going there for? To have dinner. Dinner, some drinks, a little dessert, you know? Go to a friend's house when you're you know when you're in your tw in your twenties or like as you get older it's just like you hang out with people what do you do you it's like you bring food cook food everything's over food so you know that's what a lot of this channel for me is and just cooking in general like I love the time it takes to properly prepare something and like I love all the steps involved in taking those making the perfect cuts and like putting the right amount of this and the right amount of that and the sauce and developing flavors and like I don't know it's just so interesting to my mind and then in the end you just get to eat it and be like oh man that's good it's just like you can't go wrong right this turkey one is actually might have been better than the uh, the Donair style meat one. But anyways, I just felt like I needed to get that off today, and but because like I don't know, it's just it's, it, I've just been feeling so good about it lately, so. Thank you. That is ultimately what I'm trying to say. That was probably the biggest takeaway from this video. Getting full. Uh, my, it's minus 40, I think, with the wind chill right now. <laughs> and it's going to be like that for like a week or two. And I turn the car off. So that, there's no fans and shit running, but I'm about to be freezing right now. It's getting so cold in here. So I'm gonna wrap this one up right here, and I'm gonna smash a big drink of this. Oh man! And just leave y'all with that. Just a big old thank you. So. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.